Hi everyone. My name is Havish Madhupati. I'm the founder of Havish M Consulting and I will be your instructor for this course. First of all, a big thank you to all of you for purchasing the course. This course is short but very very important. In this course, we will work with a library called Open Py Excel in which we will see how we can use a Python library to interact with Excel spreadsheets. A little bit of background. I have been working on Microsoft Excel for 20 plus years now. I'm a Microsoft certified expert, a Microsoft Office Specialist Master, as well as a Microsoft Partner. In 2019, I was listed as a 40 under 40 in analytics for my work done in Excel Visual Basic. I have authored 15 books, 11 of which have been on Excel, and I've had the opportunity of training Fortune 500 companies. The library opened by Excel has been around for a while, and it is a very popular library when as a Python developer, you want to interact with Excel files. Now you might wonder why would a data scientist need to interact with an Excel file? when you have other file types like CSV, JSON, Xable, and so on. Now, Excel is the de facto when you're looking at businesses. So while a lot of software will give you the opportunity of downloading a file as a CSV or an XML, when users create their own dashboards and their own scenarios, typically you would notice they create an Excel file. So it's very important to know how to work with Excel files as a data scientist. If you are a B-School student and you are looking forward to enter into the corporate world, then of course it goes without saying that working with Excel will occupy anywhere from 40 to 80% of your total time. And hence, needless to say, it's super, super important to learn how you can automate your tasks on spreadsheets using Python. Now, there are three broad things that we're going to see. One is how to manipulate Excel spreadsheets. The second is how we can extract information from an Excel spreadsheet. This means that we are not really making changes, but we want to pull out some information from large Excel spreadsheets. And the third, of course, is where we want to uh, create a complex spreadsheet, which means that we want to add some styles, some charts, some formulas, etc. Now, this course is uh, for beginners, but at the same time, there is a list of prerequisites. So if you are not comfortable with these topics, I would recommend that you please make sure to go back and just brush up on these topics before you continue. So we will be working with dictionaries and lists. Right. And you also have to have a little bit of understanding of object oriented program. But that said, the course in itself is not very difficult. So as long as you're able to grasp everything that is being taught, that's great. But I would strongly recommend you to go back and brush on these three in case you feel you're not comfortable with them. Let's get started. 